there. That's it. That's him. What's going on, y'all? You know who it is. Mr. Warmack, a.k.a. Low Rent, a.k.a. The Ignorant American, a.k.a. The Truth As You Know It, a.k.a. Dirty Business, a.k.a. The Jet Jaguar of YouTube. Hey, man, what's going on? As I always say by the intro alone, you know who I am. You know what I do, so uh, Mr. Warmack back in the building. Today I'm going to talk about a, a religious character, as you would say. I don't know if he's, he sounds fictional to me, this one. He's a blonde haired blue-eyed guy who's supposedly the son of God named Jesus. Now, let me go in. He's some white guy named, like I said, blonde haired blue-eyed white guy named Jesus. In the Middle East of all places, but we'll talk about that. Uh, there's these so-called religious folks, and they need to uh, come to the realization that your, your boy Jesus, he wasn't Jim Caviezel. He wasn't Mel Gibson. He wasn't none of these folks. Your boy Jesus wasn't some white guy from Eastern or Western Europe. Jesus wasn't some black guy from Central or Southern Africa. Jesus wasn't some Asian from China, Japan, or Taipei. If you don't know what Taipei is, look it up. That's what you gotta do. Jesus is from, if he was born like you guys say he was, like if the Bible says he was, Jesus looked like more like Osama bin Laden than he did Jim Caviezel. But you want to know why that uh, you guys want to devote this to some? You want to spin it off as he's a blonde-haired, blue-eyed, white guy? That's what sells Bibles. Like I, I got a Bible, it cost me ten bucks. I mean, see, it's what it is with that. I mean, what kills me is you'll see all these churches, and you'll go to a lot of these black churches too. Let's not forget this: black churches have been kind of signing this buffoonery for a minute. You know, he was olive skin at least. He was a long-haired Jewish rabbi that, you know, was executed for his beliefs and practices. If you look at the Jewish people that live in that area, none of them look like they come from, you know, if they, if they look like they come from Western Eastern Europe, that's because they were Jewish people in Poland or Russia or maybe England or Germany and decide to move to Israel. That's the only way you're gonna find people that look like white people in Israel. You know, this is for centuries Europeans have adjusted the word of God to fit their pocketbooks and their wallets. They want to they want to say Jesus. They want to reflect Jesus to a Western European thing. Because I think honestly, I don't think a lot of white people can wrap their head around the fact that Jesus looks like Omar and and, and, and Patel down there at the, at the at the gas joint. I don't think they realize that the same people who own, you know, 7-Eleven, who own uh, Boost Mobile, that's what Jesus looked like. You know, they have made them for, they made billions off of exploiting this fact and exploiting the ignorant. You know, deeply devoted Christians. Go go to any Catholic church. You won't see Jesus looking like like the, he's portrayed in the Bible. Even in the, let me put it this way, even in some of these Bibles, Jesus isn't portrayed to what he looked like in the Bible. That, that should that should you should wrap your head around that. Jesus was Jesus is uh, here's the only group who I give credit to the Mormons, and here's why. The Mormons said, the hell with this. They said they saw some some spiritual revelation, and that's why they started their little religion down there in, in, in Utah. So the Mormons, at least you guys got the balls to lie about something and believe that lie. And, and at least your lie is more believable. But as far as like some of you folks don't realize, I do not fall for that. You know how, especially in the black church, they got the, it's either the MLK fan or the Jesus fan with his head like this, and they're going back and forth with the fan. It ain't so. No. Most Americans are finding that the truth about this guy, and maybe that's why folks hate Jewish people so much. But Jesus, after all, Jesus was a rabbi. He wore a tallit. If you don't know what a tallit is, look it up. So, 
As always, I'm kicking facts, and you can get mad, but I'm out. Deuce. There. That's it. That's him.